With countries around the world having trouble feeding the growing number of Hungary, and with the fluctuation in grain prices, there's increasing interest in the potato as a source of basic nutrients, particularly in the developing world. Over the next two decades, the world's population is expected to grow on average by more than 100 million people per year. More than 95% of that increase will occur in developing countries where pressure on land and water is already intense. A key challenge facing the international community is therefore to guarantee the food supply. Experts believe the potato will be an important part of efforts to meet this challenge. Although the potato is a relatively easy and inexpensive crop to grow in temperate climates, it's much more of a challenge to cultivate in countries lacking in sufficient water resources. We in the Middle East are dominated by hot climate, warm and dry. So these varieties were especially aimed to tackle and to overcome these obstacles of dry climate and uh, hot climate. Levy is an expert in growing potatoes, especially tailored for the climactic conditions of semi-arid countries in the Middle East and elsewhere. He's bred varieties that are better suited to high temperatures, and these are already grown on a semi-commercial scale in Israel and in Europe, and now Arab countries are interested. Potatoes require plenty of water, and so the issue of irrigation is crucial. Funded by the United States Middle East Regional Cooperation Program, Levy's research that began back in the 1980s came up with an important discovery. Certain brands of potato can be irrigated with water containing a moderate level of salinity or saltiness. Part of our project with our partners from Morocco, Egypt and Lebanon involves the use of saline water for potato cropping. This is quite a relief for our region where uh, fresh water resources are very limited and we have resources of saline water. The research also resulted in the breeding of healthier varieties of potato. These varieties have a high percentage of solid content. As a result, the potato absorbs less oil and has a lower level of cholesterol. Since 2003, Levy has directed a number of workshops in Israel, Morocco and Egypt. The next workshop will be hosted by his Lebanese partners, although, because of the obvious political obstacles, it will be held in a third country. The scientists uh, usually are not enemies. We find it very, very uh, uh, rewarding uh, to cooperate with our uh, partners in Lebanon. The situation now between scientists, Israelis and Lebanese, is like peace. Unfortunately, we cannot visit Lebanon and the Lebanese cannot visit us. We hope that in the future, maybe also with the help of this collaboration, we'll be able to do that.